Around 2.30 p.m. on Friday, February 25th, these five men were going about their business as usual as divers for LMCS Limited. They were conducting underwater maintenance on this pipeline for Paria Fuel Trading Company Limited in Pointe Pier. Within hours, the entire country would know their names. Christopher Budram, Faisal Kurban, Rishi Nagasa, Yusuf Henry, and Kazim Ali Jr. All but Budram are now dead. In its first official statement on the incident that night, Paria confirmed one of the five divers was rescued after it says an incident happened. It said a rescue operation was underway for the other four men. By the next morning, the families of the missing men began gathering outside of Paria's point of pier compound. As public interest grew, the still hopeful relatives complained of being left in the dark. I understand a mess up happened in, um, out of the sea yesterday. Nobody called me and told me anything I heard from outside, uh, the fishermen outside. By Sunday morning, grief had turned to anger as relatives were left outside Paria's locked gates with no word on whether their loved ones were being rescued. They claim Paria was refusing to allow them to rescue the men. The past two days we're trying to get the men out, but we get one guy out and he responsive when he's in hospital. The thing is, we had the opportunity to get the rest of them out, but Paria and the officials and the safety men saying we can't go back down the line because it's unsafe. At 4.50 p.m. that day, Paria sent out another release, stating they were involved in a joint effort with the Coast Guard to rescue the men. The release stated the men had fallen into the pipeline. Hours later, Paria officials presented themselves to the public for the first time since the incident. Paria's general manager, Mushtaq Mohammed, said the company was unclear about the exact details of the incident, but in a defining moment, stated it had moved from rescue to recovery of the four bodies. So indeed the facts around that remain unclear today. And our focus over the last three days has been around rescue and we have converted that to recovery. Paria's terminal operations manager, Colin Piper, said the decisions made by the company were to preserve life. Every decision we had to make, we had to make very carefully and not to further endanger life or limb. But in an immediate response at a press conference held by Philip Alexander, Michael Kurban, the diver who rescued Christopher Budram said he was prevented from saving his father and other men by Paria. The orders I get was to plug the, the flange and block the divers from surfacing back up where we rescued the first man. Why would that order, why would you give that order like that and block the only entrance the fellows know to surface for help? As the accusations flew, Energy Minister Stuart Young intervened the next day. It appears as though there may be gaps in the system, but again, it's not for speculation. I, too, saw what was being said by the brave diver who went in and, and got Mr. Budram out. Later that night on February 28th, Paria released a statement confirming the bodies of Kurban, Ali Jr., and Henry had been recovered. Rishi Nagasar's body was found on March 3rd. And as the families lay their loved ones to rest, LMCS Limited came forward on March 7th, calling for accountability in the men's deaths. Their attorney, Gerald Ramdeen, issued this statement. Those who are responsible for this tragedy that led to the death of our employees and the serious injuries to Mr. Budram must be held accountable for their actions or lack thereof. The public interest requires no less. The families who lost their loved ones deserve no less. An LMCS will be satisfied with no less. Within hours, Paria hit back, claiming they were not responsible for the tragedy. The company said Michael Kurban had dived several times trying to rescue his relatives before being stopped for safety reasons. The investigative committee appointed by the Energy Ministry has been given 45 days to present its report, while LMCS has hired its own independent investigators. Charlene Rampasad, CNT3 News.